Hello and welcome to Brian's Got Game. I am Brian, and today I got a game called Covalence, a molecule building game. Covalence is a 2-7 to seven player cooperative game by John Kaveu and is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter. In this game, one player assumes the role of the knower, and the other players are the builders. The builders are trying to complete a secret molecule that only the knower knows. And here's the catch. The knower can't talk. The knower can only give clues using organic and number clue cards. To win, the builders must complete all their secret molecules with a limited number of clues and guesses. So, let's check it out, and I'll show you how to give the right clues, ask for the clues at the right time, and build all, your, all the molecules in covalence. First, choose a player to be the knower. Then, give the other two, well, we're playing a three-player game, so give all of the builders three carbons, two nitrogens, two oxygens, and eight hydrogens. In a three-player game, on easy mode, there are seven yellow cubes. These are, your, are the builder's clues. There are also six black cubes. These are the builder's guesses. Then, you place the green clue card. These are the organic clues. Flip over four, hydrogen, oxygen, double bond, and another. If there's any matches, take it, pick one of them, put it at the bottom, and reveal another one. Hydrogen, you can tell how many hydrogens there are with the number clues. You flip over four. It's okay if there's matches, because you can play... <clears throat> So hydrogen, you can show how many hydrogens there, the knower can, with the hints, show how many hydrogens or oxygens there are using the numbers. Double bond, how many double bonds there are. These are double bonds, there's two. This is a single bond. Stereochemistry, you have the right components, they're just not in the right order. And then you can, whenever a knower is giving hints, you can only play one organic, and then you can play as many of these. So what if, if there was, Two oxygens, you could play oxygen and two. In an easy game, you only use the, you randomly mix the 11 easy cards, molecule cards. They have easy at the bottom. There's 11, you only use these. In a medium and hard game, you mix the easy, medium, and hard. Hard, medium. You mix them, shuffle them, and then you don't know whether if it's easy or hard. So I'm gonna shuffle the easy cards and deal two in front of each player. This is in a three or more player game. If there's only one builder, then you do three. The others are out of the game. You are now ready to begin. So the knower draws the top one off of each looks at them, so this is his, this is his or hers. So, each, and only the knower looks at these. So each molecule has three octagon. These are all carbon. And then there's anywhere from three to eight hydrogen. So sometimes there's oxygen or nitrogen. Next, the knower gives one clue to each builder. You can look at them. <clears throat> so to this player, tell him that he has four hydrogens. So his end thing has to have four hydrogens. So he knows that he's going to need four of these. And there's always at least one carbon. The tiles, the octagon tiles, are double-sided. There's a double bond on this one, and this one's all single bonds. All of the carbons are the same, and the nitrogen has a double bond, single bond side, and there's also oxygen. In easy mode, there all, there's always one double bond. 
So then the knower replaces it. Double. Bottom. And. Chemistry. Nitrogen. Now he gives the hint this player. We could say, so it's all carbon. So we could say there's zero nitrogens. So he knows he's not going to use any of these. Now, each player attempts to build their secret molecule using the hints they have. They can also ask for more hints. So that's what he thinks, and he used no nitrogens. Now, it's early on, they don't know very much, so they probably don't want to guess. When both players agree, they use a clue. Then, this is discarded, and not to be used anymore in the game. The knower picks one person, usually the person farthest away from their answer, and it gives only that player a clue. So the knower, thinking who's farthest away he's kind of far away he needs an oxygen and two carbons so maybe you can tell him how many single bonds one two three four five five single bonds and over here he's pretty close so he's gonna give him his clue five single bonds so now he knows that he has to have five is one, two, three, four, five. He does have five, but he's guessing if he gave him a clue, he's probably got something wrong. So he thinks he's pretty close, but he's gonna get an oxygen in there. But that would only reduce him to three. He knows he's gonna have four. So maybe another. That won't work either. Try all three carbons. That doesn't work. Let's put one oxygen in there. There we go. That looks right. But then they realize that he's probably not there yet. So they're not going to guess yet. They're going to use another guess token. Clue token. <laughs> so... They, mm, they know what's gonna think. So, two carbons. He doesn't got it right. So he could do stereochemistry on him to fix him up, or he'd help him out and say that there's three carbons. He's gonna help him out this time. So this player, you have three carbons. Now they agree to guess using their black guess token. They're not going to be able to use it again in the game. Then the knower flips over each one that is correct. His is correct. His is not. So his is correct. He replenishes another clue token for getting one right. So you get another clue token per person right. And then this molecule is discarded. I like how it says, like, common, rare, semi-common, uncommon, and then, like, what it is, information like that. Um, then, the knower looks at the next one, and he restarts. Since he didn't get it right, but he qualified everything else, he's gonna try to fix it. Play continues until all of the molecules are built by the builders, or, and they win, or all of the guests... To guess tokens are gone and they lose. Okay, got my dad here for a parent's opinion. So dad, what do you think of Covalence, a molecule building game? I really enjoyed playing Covalence. Um, it, it, it's a cooperative game um, and it's very educational. Um, I happen to be an engineer, not, um, I, I don't do chemistry or don't do any of uh, biology or any of that type of stuff, but this was interesting to me. Um, and I really enjoyed it, and I think it's great 
uh, that, that I could introduce to my kids um, to these types of concepts early on uh, through playing a game. The components are really nice. They're subject, they're subject to change. The cubes are nice, plastic, the um, cardboard um, octagon pieces, and the... The cards. The, the cards have a nice cards, linen yeah, finish. The finish. Um, and, and again, this is a prototype, um, but I, I really I think the cards are, are pretty close to being done. Um, but the cubes are good for guessing the guessing tokens and uh, the clue tokens. Um, and the, the double-sided uh, elements yeah. uh, are also pretty nice, too. The, I really like the artwork, the um, molecules on the side and the, in the, um, on the clue cards. It has like a little background of paper with like, um, yeah, they have stuff uh, on it. somebody's like writing in a notebook of the, you know, the formulas and things. Yeah, I really like the, um, the design that, that Genius Games has been doing in their uh, games. Uh, it, it just pops. Um, and it just it's stunning the way that the way that it looks and I, I really like uh, the design and the look of, of their cards and also on the molecule cards I really like how it has like the name of the real molecule it has the chemical formula also and it also has the uh, molecular weight yep yeah it's really cool. so again it's educational so everything in there was was correct um, and so it's a it, it's a pretty good game the gameplay is pretty easy you Flip it over. You give one player um, a clue. You guess, and both of them go for it. Yeah, it's sort of a puzzle, um, and, and we took turns. You know, the, the first time we played, uh, you know, I was the knower, and, and Brian thought that it was pretty tough, and so he, you know, immediately he wanted to play again. Um, but he became the knower, um, and, and over the course of the times that we played, um, we had a lot of fun with it. Like um. It's harder for your first game as the builder. Once you're the knower, it becomes easier. Yeah, there's some assumptions that you can make. It, it talks in the instructions about the easy, medium, and hard. Um, if, so we showed in the easy example, there's always one double bond. Yeah, but in if you play a medium or hard game, you mix them up so you don't know how many double bonds there are. So that's why there's the double bond clue. Yeah, and depending on the difficulty level, you'll get more guesses and more clues. Or less. Strategy, there's a bit of strategy in there, how you're going to build it. Um, it's also a big component if you get, if you have, like, a nitrogen and two, um, what is it? Oxygen. Oxygen. Carbons. And carbons, and two carbons and a nitrogen. It's a big thing if you double bond the carbons, or one carbon and a nitrogen. It's a big deal. You can get it wrong because yeah, so, of that. So I wouldn't necessarily call this a strategy game. It's a cooperative game. So cooperative the, puzzle. The knower, right, the knower is trying to help them. Uh, he just can't talk. Um, so I, I really like that uh, aspect of the game, that, you, that you're working together. Um, but you're right. There are, there are times when you would want to use one organic clue over the others. And there's some games you can play with the numbers. Uh, you can do whatever you want with the cards, overlap them. Um, you can get creative with how you're giving your clues. You just can't say anything. And the clue needs to be geared towards one of the builders. The it's kind of easy for kids. I mean, it's fun. It's easy. It's pretty easy to learn. It's easy to play. Yeah, though so it's you, still so, very fun. So you haven't had a whole lot of chemistry in your schooling. But I've still um, but, I still understand the game. Yeah, it's but you were able good. to pick up on it and you know become a little more familiar with the elements and, and the different kinds of bonds uh, and those types of things. So um, it, it's not. For the real little little ones, um, but I, I think Brian, who's ten, uh, was able to pick up on those things and almost and again, eleven. Almost eleven. It is, it is um, a good one you can play with families, especially with older kids uh, who are in chemistry and taking those kinds of classes uh, to reinforce those things that they're learning. Overall, I really like this game. The components are nice, thick, durable, linen finish. The artwork is wonderful. Love it. The gameplay is easy, fun. There's a bit, there's a little bit of strategy there, and it's pretty easy for the older ones, the older kids. I really like this game. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Again, the the, the visual art uh, and the design of that stuff, I just love it. Um, it the game just looks beautiful, um, and it's a cooperative game, so so you can play with a variety of ages. Um, so again, uh, Covalence, it, it was a hit at our house, um, and I think we're going to keep this one. Uh, we we really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching Brian Spot Game.
like us on our Facebook page, send us a tweet at Brian's Got Games, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brian, this is my dad. See you next time.